on today's episode, we learned what the origin of One for All. So let's first start with Deku's new power that came from the fourth wielder, Hakage Shinomori. It's the ability to sense danger. And uh, we learned that with this power, you have to be somebody who's already quirkless. Otherwise, it shortens your lifespan. So Yagi, or All Might's quirk, One for All. The weakness was that in order to make one for all surrender, there needs to be a strong feeling, a strong emotion that surpasses one for all. Feelings that can't be borne by one person alone. And to that point, the first wielder of the power, his power, was that all for one wanted to use Shigaraki's hate as that overwhelming feeling to do that. The origin of one for all is meant to destroy all for one. And he mentioned that it looked like Yagi had accomplished this. Each wielder has a different power that their predecessor didn't have. That's what it's looking like to me. So at some point, I'm expecting Deku to also develop a new power that's going to be added. The present is such that Hawk said that the heroes now are not only fighting villains, but public sentiment. So they got to get every bit of information that they can so that they can explain things clearly to the public. And what he revealed during the conference really changes the world of My Hero Academia. Before, they were all living in this giant city and they were getting help that way. But now that's changed. Best Genius reported that the conclusion that the Hero Society and government has come to was that they need to reduce the area they need to protect. I don't know if this is going to be a temporary suggestion with the way the world has changed in my hero academia it's fair to argue that it's kind of like they're going into a permanent war all for one leading all of these villains around the city he might be able to establish a villain society where he's leading everything in the midst of all that you have deku who appears to for all purposes he's now living on his own he's going to be living among the villains that's what it looks like the episode ended by stating the final act begins. I guess this is the final act of My Hero Academia eventually. I'm not really sure. I don't read the manga. This is from an anime only perspective. Anyway, this is 255 out one.